Greetings and in this video I'm going to show you the fifth way of how to add a video to your blog post or to your page using the framework WP Bakery. Now we're not really going to use any of the features that WP Bakery offers but obviously that's the framework that your WordPress theme is using. So this is a um, this is a video to help a commenter who asked the question on how to add a video which he's sitting on is in his media library and he wanted it to loop. We'll come to the loop section at the end. So in this part I'm just going to show you how to add a video that you've uploaded to your media library or want to upload to your media library and that's the video that you want to use in your blog post or blog page. <clears throat> So first of all, I'm in the page, I'm in the post, sorry. You put the cursor wherever you want your, your video to be. Click add media. Now this is what you'd normally see to you know, upload your images on your videos. So if you're gonna upload a video, you'd upload it now. If you already have the, the video in your media library, that's totally fine, click over to media library. So I've already got the video uploaded in my media library. Now. To the right hand side you see a list of all this information for your video. Scroll down to where it says file URL and click the link where it's got, um, well the link for the video. Basically this is where WordPress is holding your video in the media library. So you copy that link and then you go back to the left hand side now and at the bottom you should see a title that says insert from URL. You're going to click that and now it's giving you an option to put the URL that we've just copied into that bar. So that's a video where that's a video link where your video is sitting. We're going to click insert into post and now the video appears in your post. Now let me just quickly do a preview to show you what it looks like. There you go. There's a video in your post. So now, if we go back, that's how the, you can put the video in your post or your page. Now, the gentleman asked about he wanted it to he wanted his video to loop. At the moment, I don't see any option to be able to do a loop based on the video being in your media library. The only way to get around that is to convert your video to a GIF file. If you convert it to a GIF file, most GIF files, they will repeat. When you choose an app or a software that helps you convert, you can. I think there's an option where it will ask you if you want it to loop. You click the loop option and then your video will continue to loop. He said that his video is only 30 seconds long, so it shouldn't be a problem to loop it. The problem with looping and obviously from converting it to a GIF file is that your, the video is now not going to have the functionality as a video, which means the, the user is not going to be able to, you know, press play. Like, I can press play here. Well, I can't play, press play here. Oh, I can. I can press play here. I can press pause. If it's converted to a GIF file, you don't have that interactivity because, obviously, it's a GIF file. So, if you're happy for someone not to be touching your video you just want them to watch the video, then convert your video to a GIF file. If you want people to interact with your video, then you're going to have, there's no, there's a, there's not another a way that I know of that you can loop your video and still have someone interact with it. So I think converting it to a GIF file would be your best bet as long as you're happy with no one interacting with your video. Now, this is the fifth way to insert a video into your blog posts using WP Bakery. The fourth way, the link's in the description, that's on my web page. And the three other ways, I'll put a link to that video in the description as well. So that's it really. This video is just to help a commenter who wanted to know how to insert the video that's fit sitting in his media library on WordPress, on his website, how we can put that into a, a blog post or a page and to loop it. That's This is how you do it. Um, insert the add the media 
you have to go through insert via URL. And again, for the looping, you specifically convert it to a GIF file. I hope this helps the commenter, and I hope this helps anybody who wants to add a video to their blog post which uses WP Bakery, but their video is in their media library. Have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you soon.